Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good morning and for that matter a great day. As you can see, I'm planning on playing more Genshin Impact. Um, today I plan on doing the most recent event. This event came out right after the main event for this patch, uh, the Precious Trail event. This event has ended. But you, you still have a short period of time to exchange your, like, crystal rewards, I guess. But either way, this one came out a little bit after it. Um, it appears to be a music event? I don't exactly know. But either way, I just wanted to play it, have some fun, you know, see how it is. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so... The way that this event started out is there was a little accept invitation button. Um, apparently, Artaki Ito had a letter written to us by one of his, like, either one of his gang members or someone else wrote him a letter to us because I don't think he could spare the time or something. I didn't actually fully read the letter. But more or less, the, re the letter was written to us, you just clicked accept, and then you'd get, like, a story prompt and Paimon would talk to you. Um, but yeah, now I just click go to quest, and here's the quest. More or less, I think that this event is mainly just gonna be, you know, Ido's addition to the whole... Him being in the Archon quest, the most recent one, they wanted to give him his own event because he's gonna be coming out on a banner soon. Um, that banner is coming out really soon, by the way. I'm pretty sure it's actually coming out before the event ends. To my knowledge, the event will end a little bit after Ido's banner is introduced back into the game and doing his reruns. Yeah, because this banner is about going to end in two days. So more or less, this event is going to last for about 12 days after. Uh, but no, I'm supposed to talk to this guy. Okay. Oh, do you need a hand with anything? Isn't there supposed to be what? a festival? Uh, a festival? I haven't heard anything about a festival coming up. Oh. Uh, could you be more specific? What festival are you talking about exactly? The Almighty... Almighty Arataki? Yeah, and the Great and Glorious Drum Long. Ah, uh, yes. The same Arataki gang who made a scene at the Iridori Festival? Yeah. So you're here for the unauthorized, unprofessional, and unofficial event, huh? <laughs> what? No, no, no! It's not un anything. Yeah, I gotcha. No need to keep rehashing the name. I think I know what this is about. Let me bring you up to speed. Okay. So we saw the members of the Arataki gang here a few days ago, and they were busy at work leaving piles of hideous things all over the place. Their leader claimed to be hosting a grand event big enough to rival the Iridori Festival. Okay. I think that must be the one you're talking about. I asked them a couple of questions, and it quickly became clear that they had no permit to host the event, no proof of venue hire, and surprise, surprise, no record of having registered the event with the police station. Of course not. That sounds exactly <laughs> like that is Aritaki, you know. An unauthorized, unprofessional, and unofficial festival, I don't know what is. According to the rules, we had to force them to shut down the event. What? You shut it down? Let Paimon guess. Then you arrested them. No, actually. Well, there's Seeing no... that they had no prior experience organizing events, and they'd at least gone to the trouble of preparing a safety plan... <sighs> we just gave them a warning. Why would you arrest someone for something like that anyway? Safety plan? Huh. That's pretty responsible. More than normal. Anyway, if you're looking for the Arataki game, you could try going to Amakane Island. Oh. Which is a venue designated by the Yashiro Commission for use in all kinds of festivals, big and small. It was established to try and encourage community cultural events. The application process is much simpler there and less expensive too. Oh, okay. We told the Arataki gang about that. If they still want to host their event, that's going to be their best option. That uh, makes complete sense. This whole thing is starting to sound like a non-starter. But since we've come this far, 
We might as well go and take a look at Amakani Island, right? It's probably over there. I My best bet is that they're actually sitting over there waiting for us. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Arataki Ito isn't the best at following formal procedure. So when they, you know, without their brilliant secondhand kooky, um, I don't think they would ever have organized the event in the first place, let alone actually followed through with coming over here. So if they are over here, it's strictly because of her. But either way, it works. The upcoming Edo banner is looking good, but... Oh. There should be a Yashiro Commission representative here. Let's go and ask him. Really? They're not even here? Are we just going to go from place to place? Okay, there he is. How can I help? Uh, we're looking oh, for the Arataki yes. gang. You must be here for the almighty Arataki, whatchamacallit, festival too. Who? Yep. Madam Kujo Sara of the Tenryo Commission and Yuemiya of Naganohara Fireworks have both been here so far. Yuemiya noticed them getting the venue ready when she was here to deliver some fireworks. I guess she got curious and went to go check it out. As to what Madam Kujo Sara was here for, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it is her, like, rival. Oh, so. the other people got here before us? So, where's the Arataki gang now? Unfortunately, since there's no space available at any official venues at the moment, we had to allocate them to a tiny beach at the northwest part of the island. Oh. If only they'd applied earlier, we could have given them a better location. Head northwest. You'll see them. Okay, so now they're going from a small island to smaller island to smaller island. Here we are. Hi, Ito. <laughs> uh, goodness me. <laughs> hey there, compadres. You finally made it. Yes, we did. I was just wondering when you'd be showing up. Next thing I know, boom, there you are. <laughs> oh boy, am I happy to see you. Yeah, Look I'm happy to see you too. What do you think? Is this a prime location or what? I guess. <sighs> it's surrounded by sea. The air is as fresh as it gets. There's no noise pollution from the city. And the views are simply spectacular. Yeah. <sighs> All of those are upsides. I, I mean, it's not as crowded as other the venues, too. Of Amakane Island, where you can enjoy exclusive access to the festival and culture center's first-rate equipment. With excellent transport links by sea and land, getting where you need to be is highly convenient, whether you're traveling by foot or by boat. This venue is pretty nice. The moment I set eyes on this venue, I knew this was the one. Okay. It was the moment that changed the world. Give it up for the boss! Clearly you're only here because the Tenryo Commission sent you away. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> right, Definitely uh, not the fact business. that they didn't sign up sooner. I invited you all here to attend the almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival. A highly important festival, I might add. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. The boss said the first goal of the festival is to promote the Arataki gang and recruit new members. Oh. Secondly, it's to celebrate Shinobu's graduation. And last but not least, it makes up for all the previous team building events that were canceled due to insufficient funding. Three festivals in one? Wow. Akira, uh, we can leave that last point out from now on. <laughs> Where is Shinobu? Festivals is, you gotta get out there and promote them far and wide if you want to get a good crowd. So, uh, Shinobu's handing out flyers. Hey! Shinobu's supposed to be the star of the show, isn't she? Yeah, but she's also the most responsible one out of the group, so... she's out there working her butt off while you're hanging around here doing nothing? Hey, I'm hard at work, too. I I'm... I I'm... I'm... Entertaining guests! Yeah, the one set of guests well, that just, just arrived. Back. He said he was expecting you to arrive any second, so he came back specially to welcome you. Okay, so you... You three are Until then, he was out there with having Shinobu his back. Hard to bring more people to the festival. Well, uh, just 
Ah, just doing my duty. Nothing more, nothing less. Totally not the fact that they're just backing you up because they're on your well, payroll or anything. Sure get some serious work for once. Huh. I'm unpleasantly surprised. That's if you guys even get paid. I don't exactly know how you work <laughs> as a business. Just a lavender melon to stoop to the level of childish name calling. You're the one who started. Anyway, so compadre, you got any questions about this festival? Yeah, what what am I what am I here for? I heard Kujo Sara came. I, at first, I want to know what Yoimiya was doing here. The owner of Naganohara Fireworks. Chatting with her is a real blast. <laughs> <clears throat> she only found out about our festival because she happened to be delivering some fireworks to Amakane Island. That makes sense. She really liked what we were trying to do here and came to pass on her best wishes. She even said she'll provide some fireworks for us next time. Okay, yeah, that that's Looks pretty like reasonable. The Arataki gang should make sure to keep good ties with Naganohara Fireworks in the future. Ooh. Okay. So, compadre, you got any questions about this festival? Yeah, I do. I I have um I heard Kuchosara came around here. Oh, you mean that stupid Tengu? You mean your rival. <laughs> yeah, I hesitated, but uh I sent her an invitation. Oh. I cannot believe how ungrateful she is. Get this, she came all the way out here just to put up a bulletin board and write a load of baloney on it claiming that visitors need to be cautioned. <laughs> she even warned us not to change it. It's blatant bullying of the gang, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not the fact that One this day, is I'm gonna defeat that an Baron unprofessional Square, event at all. In the middle of the street, she'll get what's coming to her. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so compadre, you got any questions about this festival? Um, what am I doing here? <laughs> A ton of totally awesome stuff. Okay, what, like what? See that hill over there? That's Sing Along Hill. Stand at the top, look out over the sea, and sing your heart out. And this bonfire, it's perfect for roasting lavender melons, the regular kind, or the ones of the annoying little floating variety. And these boxes, plenty of space whether you want to play Genius Invocation TCG oh. or a Battle Some Beatles. You you have a TCG, you guys play TCGs? I mean, wow. not I saying I wouldn't, all the stops. wouldn't totally uh, play some but TCG course, right now. The highlight of this festival is the drum along. Here, feast your eyes on this. Just between you and me, this little treasure was sourced through a top secret channel. They said thanks to my strapping good looks Oop. and the fact that the vendor and I kind of had a uh, connection. Her words, not mine. She gave me a generous discount and only asked for 800,000, Mora. 800,000? She went from 8 million to 800,000 just like that? Uh, sounds suspiciously like a scam to Paimon. I mean, I would only play to pay like 200,000. Oldest trick in the book, right? Which is why it didn't work on me. I spotted the damage on the edge right away. Practically screamed, Defective product alert! <laughs> Ooh, we have a connection. Give me a break. So I haggled hard and took her down to 80 Gs. <laughs> Ooh, 80 <laughs> is actually pretty steal. reasonable. Yeah, more specifically, daylight robbery. I mean, it's still 80 G for just a chipped drum. It's pretty good. Still, it's pretty impressive that you could actually afford something worth 80,000 mora. Paimon, we literally Tinder? go from carrying around like 3 million mora. I mean, right now my it's pockets are a little light right mora. now, but... What do you take me for? I put in 20 grand. Me too. Huh? Boss, how come I had to pay 30 grand? 20 grand plus 20 So we put in 10. That implies that he didn't pay the 10. What do you... Paimon, can you do math? That's... That's 7. I think that's 7. Because 3... That's... Yeah, that's 7. What do you want about, Paimon? Uh, <laughs> you might want to check your mathematics there. I paid my share. You know? I paid the last 10 grand. Alright, good chat. But, uh, we should wrap things up. It's getting late. He I did pay the last 10 over. grand. The festival's just getting started. We need to keep plugging it to get a bigger crowd. 
Take care of the hand drum, all right? Oh, and if you want to try out the drum along at any point, Gent is your guy. Ooh. Later, compadre. I do actually want to try out the drum along. And maybe I could play this TCG or something. Well, hello. I'm Genta, the Arataki Drum Along Festival Welcome Ambassador. Okay. Are you ready for your drum along performance? I, I, am I almost forgot. There's totally ready. I forgot to mention to you about this hand drum. Oh. Since none of us really know if it's in tune or not. Please test it out first. Okay. That way, it'll sound better when you deliver your final performance. Go on. Give it a try. I feel like this is just a way of using me to tune your instruments. But, like, I'm not going to fault it. Okay. Uh, lag. Lag calibration. Oh. Press spacebar. Left click. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay. Okay, this is just... Just standard... Practice stuff. I am more... Oh, I can technically move it up. But... No, I think it's good. I don't need any calibration. Cool. I've calibrated the drum. Now I get to partake. <laughs> yeah, they really have the Mies Hina statue. I mean, I'm glad to know. Oh! And I just get to choose all of these fun tracks. Okay, I'm so glad. Okay, and then I get to edit beat maps. Dude, this is so cool. Okay, I want to perform. Okay, I just talked to the dude to perform. Okay, this is going to be good. I can't wait. Okay, let's start by talking to this good fellow. Genta. The Arataki drum along. Are you ready for your drum along? Okay, Genta. It's showtime. I want to know. Okay, yeah, okay, select the difficulty. I'm just gonna start with normal. Okay. Yeah, hold, but what are the keys? Okay, ASD, JKL. Okay. This might take some getting used to. I rushed that. Okay, it's not that bad. If I actually hit the notes correctly. Dude, this is reminding me of Mushi Dash. Or Musha Dash, or whatever it's called. I mean, I really like playing rhythm games. I in The last rhythm game that I played in this game, I'm pretty sure I fully perfected every song. Just full combo perfect. Everything. It's way too easy to not notice that the notes are actually coming in on this one, though. I like how forgiving it is. This one's a lot more forgiving than other rhythm games that I've played. I had one fail and six good. This Cantus. Ah, oh, yes. They're lovely. They're lovely music. Okay, go just straight to pro. Let's go. Let's get this. I want a full perfect everything. Uh, 
That one was good, sadly. I'm a bit slow. I'll admit it. This is definitely a hard song. It's gonna take some getting used to. I might just, you know, keep attempting these and cut back to whenever I successfully max out these difficulties, but they seem very... They seem fun, which is my biggest thing. Okay, retry. Straight to pro. Music in this event is amazing. But it's just because the music in this game is great. The key, the key choices are kind of awkward for me. I wonder if you can change the key mapping. And let's do a different song. Okay, Edo, time to shine. I'm just curious. What's this look like? I was looking away, that's not fair. This one's a definitely two-handed song. Okay, this one's fast. I don't think I'm gonna be full combo perfecting all these songs. At least not without extensive trial and error. This is what Ito's theme song sounds like. This one's decently hard. I missed that one on the side. Kinda rough. I don't know. This event seems a slight bit more difficult than the previous ones. Probably because this one's way more like difficulty centric. I'm just gonna do all these on pro. Just give them a first time try. I forgot which key did, did what. Yeah, definitely don't pre-tap. They punish spamming.
More than other rhythm games. You either get it first try or you or you get it. You don't get a lot of second tries in this. They're way too forgiving on the second go around. And not too forgiving on the first. I don't know. This definitely does feel like a rhythm game, but a slightly different sort of rhythm game. It's definitely fun. I can say that. And all the songs are just so wonderful. I, I, once again, can you ch allow me to change the map color? Not this yellow. I don't know why, but the yellow just doesn't pop out to me. I just don't notice it at all. Ah, oh, I'm missing all of these. Once again, song's just amazing. This one's a little bit shorter than the others. I mean, it's appreciated, but... Dualism? Yeah, it's a little bit shorter. Part of it, I'm just doing them for the primos, but... This one's a Klee one. I want to hear this. Once again, please let me change the color of the map. <laughs> if it did, it, it would be so much nicer. I was pressing the wrong keys completely. a little bit better. Let's go Crimson Knight. I did that one slightly better than the others. Okay, an Ajdaha theme. I'm kind of scared, but let's do it. This one's gonna utterly destroy me. Okay, it's just his standard theme. I'm like, is this one gonna be different? Nope, it's just Ajdaha's theme. Dude, my bad habits from other easier rhythm games are showing themselves.
Like, I don't let go. Because I'm used to other rhythm games where... They auto let go for you. And the second note hit is okay. This is more like Guitar Hero ass. Uh, this one wasn't too bad. I did sort of butcher, butcher like the beginning part, but like near the end, I only, uh, yeah, I only failed 13 of them. Kind of bad when you want to be able to perfect all of them, but kind of okay. Otherwise, let's, let's do it. The ride in theme. This one's a bit more intense. Once again, my habits are showing. Is this a remix? Oh, this is the ride and boss fight one. Ooh, drown me in notes. Okay, that, that, was, that was a double hold. Alright, uh, pretty reasonable. Not horrible. Do Salem. I wonder what language they use for the rankings. I mean, I got Do Salem on all of them. They aren't horrible by any means. I really love the music because, you know, the music's just so good in this game. I need to get more comfortable with all of the keys and which fingers they're on. Don't mind me just dropping a bunch of notes randomly. Problem I have with hold notes. I don't know why this is the song I struggle a lot with. Alright. The slow section's a bit more reasonable. Until I forget which key is which. It's happening a lot. Still a bit too soon. Oh, and oh boy, here I go dropping everything. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to perfect these as easily as I want to, but. It seems like it's all just rated on three stars. I mean, it's a really fun event. Bad news. What's the bad news? What the happened? Boss got arrested again. Oh, 
how did Ido get arrested? Just now, someone from the Tenryo Commission came to post a notice on the bulletin board saying our festival has to be suspended. Oh no. What happened? I think maybe the boss sent some flyers to Tenshukaku. He did say that the Shogun would definitely not want to miss the almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drumalog Festival after all. <laughs> did he did he break into Palace Grounds? Hmm. Unofficially. Well, I think the boss is right. The almighty Shogun would definitely want to come to the festival. <laughs> and you guys are just a bunch of yes men. Uh, yeah, don't you agree? Come on, who cares what we think? Anyway, the boss was arrested on the spot by the Okuzumeshu. They took him to the Tenryo Commission. What are you gonna do? Shinobu's probably on the case by now. I heard the Okuzumeshu charged the boss with causing a disturbance in a restricted military zone. That is fair. He probably did and do Madame that. And Sara changed it to obstructing the public order. Okay. Ah, uh, that despicable Kujo Tengu. How can she get away with charging boss with a felony over something like this? I mean, he did, like, break into unofficial ground and commit trespassing, among you other things. That's a misdemeanor. She downgraded the offense. Usually, you just get a warning for that. Oh. Anyway, I guess we'll just have okay, to wait so until the boss gets out before seeing what to do about the festival. Don't worry, Traveler. With Shinobu on the case, everything's gonna turn out just fine. You've been so I mean, that's of our fair. Festival. When the boss gets out, I'm sure he'll want to thank you in person. I hope your journey, like our festival, will go from strength to strength. Oh, yeah. From strength to strength! That's their phrase. Okay, I didn't know their... I didn't know that they had a, like, a motto, but they do. I mean, I played pretty well. I mean, I there were some times at that where I just utterly butchered half of the notes, but I'm I mean it was fun. Is this just yeah. Ooh, it's different. You get three notes or four notes. That's cool. Cause, Cause every other one uh you switch to and they give you the full Host the notes, but since it's a drum, it only has four notes. It's pretty fair. I wonder if this will give people the opportunity to play some actual songs in the game. You have someone on lyre, someone on the zither, and someone on the drum. That would be cool. Either way, this event is kind of cool. S somewhat small. That's why it's only a, gonna be this small little episode, but... Pretty fair, pretty fair. I definitely did enjoy it. I, I had a fun time just playing the tracks. It seems like you can actually go through and make your own song tracks for this event, which is really cool. And you can even share. You can even share song tracks from other people that's i i really like that that's very cool i think that this event by itself is just very enjoyable but i hope you guys enjoyed um if you did you know you know what to do uh i'll see you all in the next episode probably next time the next coming up event which will be not too far away that or it will be one of the future hangout events either or um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you later. And goodbye! <laughs>